Hi there and welcome to this screencast where we're going to take a quick look at the new Iron Realms Flash client. Uh, we're on the uh, the game selection screen here at the client. You've got uh, these four boxes for the different Iron Realms games. But before we before we play one of those, if you look at the the top right of this screen, you've got this uh, small button here. Click to maximize. The client by default is quite small. Um, if you if you find it too small, uh, you, this button will uh, reload the client to fill the browser window and you can resize the, the window then to make it as, as big or as small as you like. Uh, we're going to leave it as it is because uh, the YouTube window is pretty small anyway. So we're just going to click on IKEA. You can uh, create a new character with this button here but we're just going to log in. And this is the main game screen and you can see the text uh, scrolling up there in the main panel. I'm just going to look at the uh, the interface here. At the top left you've got the name of the game under that is a, a vote button and it's grayed out at the moment when it when it lights up you can click it to vote uh, at top mud sites if you like and then you've got this uh, games button this will log you out from the game and return you to the game selection screen uh, and click on that you get this confirmation to make sure you don't do it by accident so uh, we don't want to do that just yet so we'll cancel you've got the map here this is a small box with a, a graphical map with your character in the middle and that will stay on top uh, while you move around so it's quite handy you can see uh, as soon as you move around the mud you can move this window um, you know, put it out of the way somewhere if you run the client maximize you're going to have a lot more space to to move it around so we're just going to close that for now uh, the editor that's useful if you're making a news post or something like that settings we're going to have a look at in a few moments uh, the help this will just bring up the the help page for the game on the website bottom left you've got these uh, bars representing your character's stats they will go up and down and numbers will flash up here as the, the stats change and down the bottom you've got the experience point bar and this is the main text entry you type your commands in here and you see the previous command is highlighted so you can just hit enter if you want to repeat it or just type over it you can also use the up and down arrow keys uh, to cycle through your previous commands and it'll store uh, 20 commands so it's quite useful on the right hand side then you've got a scroll bar here you can scroll back um, in the buffer what is useful if you double click on the main window it will split and you can see you've got a separate scrolling window here that's useful if you want to uh, read something back uh, you can still see what's happening in the game uh, also, um, if you want to copy some text uh, from the game, you can't copy. If you click on here, you can't highlight anything. But with this this screen where it's grayed out, you can just select it with your mouse, and then you can just copy it or whatever as usual. And then to cancel that, just double click again. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the uh, the settings uh, settings window here again. If we click on that, we've got. Um, four tabs here preferences aliases triggers and macros we're going to look at these three in some other screencasts right now just going to look at the the preferences quickly uh, echo commands by default the the client will print the uh, latest command to the output um, if you don't like that you can turn it off there you can select your font type and size here the um, the default font is courier um, these fonts aren't included in the client so they have to be installed on your computer so if you select a font that you don't have installed it may not display correctly or may display as another font uh, so that's one thing to be aware of um, courier isn't particularly nice looking so we're going to change that to console which is a bit nicer and you can change the size here with the um, with the default size probably 12 is the largest you're going to want uh, but obviously if you run the client maximize you can uh, put this up a lot a lot larger moving across here you've got these um, enable uh, buttons for aliases, triggers and macros. If you want to innate, disable all your triggers for example you can just click that uh, to disable all of them. Down here you've got a button to save a log file. Uh, this will click this, it'll open a, a operating system box where you can uh, select a file and it will save the contents of the, the MUD output as a text file and it will save it by default as HTML with color tags to make it look pretty uh, but if you uncheck this you'll just get the plain text the uh, buffer size here will be the number of lines that are saved in the log and also in the scroll back uh, you can 
increase this if you prefer. Um, the higher you have it, the um, the more memory the client will use, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. One thing with this is that it does require um, Flash Player version 10 or higher. So if you if you click this button and nothing happens, it's probably because you're using Flash Player version 9 and you need to upgrade. Uh, then you've got this solid background here. By default, the client has this kind of textured, patterned background, but you might find it easier to read the text with a, a solid background. You can see that's solid black there. And if we just look, you can see the, the font change as well. You can also uh, change the default colors here. Um, you just click in the boxes and you can pick a new color or type the, the hex code in here. Now when you um, when you click OK, these, these preferences are saved on your local computer. So when you exit the client, close your browser, you come back another time to play, uh, it should be the same, same as when you left it. OK, that concludes this uh, quick look at the uh, new Iron Realms Flash Client. There will be some other screencasts with aliases, triggers and more advanced scripting, so look out for those. Thanks very much.